Austin live here at the Austin Convention Center. And we're talking to Jules Urbach of Otoy, makers of the Octane Renderer. Jules, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be hey, here. Hey, Jules. Lucas, it's amazing here. to be here. So you guys know each other already. Oh, yes. We, we do. Old friends. <laughs> um, so tell us a bit about Octane Renderer. What, what, what do you guys make for those who are unfamiliar with it? Those minor few people who are out there who haven't heard. <laughs> So Octane Render is the world's first spectrally correct, unbiased GPU renderer. Uh, it's traditionally been used in visual effects. Uh, one of the, my favorite shots that's been rendered with Octane is the opening of Westworld on HBO. Beautiful. Incredible. Beautiful. Um, but today, uh, millions of Unity users uh, can use Octane, the same exact Octane that's been used for movies and visual effects inside of Unity. Uh, that launched with Unity 2017.1 uh, at SIGGRAPH, and today we are launching a second update, which has some awesome. very exciting features. Actually today? Today, right. this cool. morning. So, uh, so what got added in this update? So we've added support for uh, play mode, uh, so you can now use Octane uh, when you're running in, uh, in game mode, which a lot of Whoa. users requested. Cool. Uh, we've also updated uh, Octane to support live GPU baking, and it is wicked fast. So. On my laptop, I was baking, it's not even progressive, it's instantaneous. So the entire scene, all the GI is baked in about two seconds while I'm running uh, the live scene. And this goes into the um, rendered texture, uh, and it goes right back into the scene, and it's amazing. So, so that works as, like a, as a light mapper? Yes. And this is basically ground zero for us to build more and more complex baking tools. Um, so once, now that we have light mapping working, and it is so fast on the GPU, um, and all of the, um, and we've also done a lot of integration now. So all of Unity lights and materials are really well integrated in Octane. We're also showing some beautiful scenes that used to, that were done in Max and Maya, and we redid all of those materials in Unity Editor, and it looks just as good. It's awesome. Um, so now you can bake those scenes into light maps, and shortly after that, we're going to be adding light field baking, which is a volumetric point cloud um, ray tracer that is pre-computing all of the complexity of the cinematic scene, and you can load that back into Unity, which I just showed at our presentation today, and it runs uh, in real time in VR or AR. Oh. So, le, so let me try to summarize that. So there's a few different parts. Right? One is where you make a scene in Unity and you let uh, Octane render it. Yes. Uh, you know, which takes a few seconds, uh, gets better, you know, gets better over time, and it makes really pretty pictures. Yes. It's one part, and then the second part that that you're working on now is having having Octane actually render the light maps. Yes, so the, the, um, the cinematic rendering in Octane that you could use for doing uh, VR renders and all those things was working uh, in 2017.1, but today we now have the ability to have Octane take the same quality lighting and put it into the same light maps that Enlighten was baking or the progressive light mapper was baking. It uses all of the Unity UV mapping um, and baking light maps, um, and it does it all in one step. So there's no tiles, there's no waiting, it just renders all of that in about a, um, a few megapixels per second uh, progressively, but it, it, it cleans up the noise in basically in real time. And then the, this this third thing is like the the how do you call it the, the point it's cloud. It's basically the, a, a light, the field, light field light field baking. So if, if so if, so so yeah. Let, uh, so lighting is one of the things people are used to baking because lighting is complex. But if you have a forest that has a hundred trillion triangles, you can't run, render that in OpenGL. You, it's hard to render that with instancing. So in this case, you can just have Octane. Uh, take that forest, and instead of baking just the lights into a texture, it'll bake all of the geometry into a holographic texture. And Unity will get back a proxy, a cube, and it'll do a ray trace into that um, bounding volume, and it'll just look perfect. It'll look just like the Octane ray tracer, but in, in the uh, live game mode. And is that what you use for VR a lot? Yes. So like, VR, VR, like all your VR demos? All the good VR demos where we show light field rendering is the intent of that was always to hook this up to Unity and to give people the tools to generate that, whether it's coming from Unity or they import it from other tools. But either way, Unity is where you can create all the mechanics. You can script all of this with C Sharp. And uh, you can mix and match that with anything that you can run inside of Unity's real-time viewport. So we were showing today that you can take Unity assets and blend them with light field pre-computed assets. And we're going to have the ability for those to be generated locally, just like a normal light map. And then we're also going to have the cloud service, which allows you to use thousands of GPUs on the cloud to generate super high quality um, quiescent light fields, which are basically then streamed in. So you have these two different quality settings. Hey, and uh, if people want to you know, wanna learn more about this or like play around with it, like can, can they get a build? How, how, like, yeah, I mean, how if, do you get you, started? 
if you go to the asset store and download any samples that have Octane in it, um, that are Octane scenes, you'll just get everything you need. After that, you'll be able to. Um, so I go to the store, I search for Octane, yes. and then a list of stuff comes yep. up. And a great tutorial forms everything unity.otwo.com. Cool. So um, we also heard about uh, the render token thing. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about how that works? So the cloud service that I was just referring to currently runs on GPUs that are scattered on the public cloud, like Amazon, Google, our own data centers. Sure. Um, there's not enough of them, especially when we're rendering light fields. We need a yeah. lot more. Uh, and we ran out, and we're <laughs> so so. The idea Amazon is Amazon didn't have enough. No, uh, service no one for does. You. It's on, like Amazon. you know we have Eric Schmidt on the board of advisors. Not enough GPUs on, on Google Compute either. So <laughs> we're we, the crazy thing is that there's a lot of people mining Ethereum on GPUs. In fact, we started to notice Octane customers couldn't get a GPU. So we've, we're flipping this around. If you basically fulfill render work like we do through our our public cloud service, uh, you can get an Ethereum token, and that will pay more than Ethereum itself for mining. So therefore, people will be motivated to do rendering work. And that means we'll have a lot more GPUs, um, at least or better than the cost that we have today. And that'll be awesome for Unity users. So anyone that has like a badass GPU, they can- or even an old GPU. They, they can sort of just be freelancing and rendering other people's scenes and getting Ethereum exactly. tokens for it. Yep. So where do you see, um, you know, we were obviously we're talking to, to Neil and Chris from Oats just now. Um, where do you see the, the kind of future of, of this tech going? Is it into games? Is it into film as well? Obviously, you know, Octane's used for, for Westworld. Yeah. Um, you know, do you see people coming to a product like Unity to be making like features? Like, how do you see well, that? You're going to be making films in Unity. I, I, I think that's so clear, and I love what Neil's doing because I think that that proves the point that the tools of the future for doing cinematic content are going to be game engines. And the reason why is that I think every filmmaker that I've worked with, and I don't think Neil was any exception to this, is thinking about volumetric content. And it's not just VR, it's AR. It's, it's the fact that hundreds of millions of phones can give you an experience that's spatial. And it's not even about the interactivity, it's just being able to experience these objects, these scenes, these experiences in this volumetric way. You know, we're agnostic to whether it's an HMD, a VR, or light-filled holographic wall, but I think the creators of this content want to have the tools to, to be able to spit out volumetric experiences, and I think linear content is still how you tell stories, even if it's yeah. got a different dimension of, of experience. And I love what, what Neil's done with Adam. I think it's incredible, and I think you know, one of the things I want to support is for filmmakers like him to be able to publish uh, holographic volumetric streams that are just like video is today, but with all the things you saw in that Adam um, live uh, real-time uh, video. It was, it's incredible. So that means like you would render out like the, you could render out like an Adam scene like that in the light field in VR. Yeah, so we were, he and I were actually just talking about it and we we're looking like, well, what is baked in this thing? What do we need to put in the near field dynamic viewer? But either way, anything that you can render in Unity, you can render in Octane, anything that Octane can render can be traced into a holographic uh, light field cube and that can be streamed and it can even be non-buffered. You can just get a uh, two to 20 megabit connection and just pull it in biometrically. Awesome. Oh, that's great. I'm really uh, interested to see what you guys are going to come up with. So if people want to get started, it's unity.otoy.com yep. that has tutorials. Everything that you need to get and started, links to the, the asset The only thing store. you really need is like Unity and the Otoy plugin, and you're ready to go. Is you don't even need the Otoy plugin. It's like there's nothing to download. It's all, you know, the work that we did with you guys was to basically get it so that Octane is just bootstrapped inside of Unity Editor. Awesome. And you just need one asset, and that's it. And then you can, you're good to go. Oh, great. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Jules. My pleasure, Lucas. Thanks. Have a good flight home. Thank you. <laughs>